You will never see the narcissist the same way after watching this video. After watching this video, you will see the narcissist differently. You will never see them the same way ever again. Narcissists want supply. They have an excessive need for attention and admiration. They need you to take notice of them. They need you to regard them as interesting and important. They need you to see them as something impressive and attractive because that's what gives them supply. It makes them feel like they're worth something. It makes them feel like they are in control. They abandoned who they really are a long time ago and they took on whatever image they thought would get them the attention and admiration they're looking for. They modeled celebrities or anyone else who they believed to be interesting and important, impressive and attractive. And then they just played that role. They acted as though that was who they really are. Not because they care about the essence of that role, but because they want everything that comes along with it. They want the attention and admiration. They want compliments and praise. They want accomplishments. They want to feel like they're winning. They want to feel powerful and in control. But they're never satisfied. Their narcissistic supply tank is always low or running on empty. They always need more. As soon as a narcissist gets involved with you, they want you to give up your power. They want you to submit to them. They want you to see them as being superior to you. They want you to do whatever they want you to do. They want you to praise and compliment them so that they can feel like they're interesting and important, impressive and attractive. They want you to be under their control because they just see you as an object they just see you as something that exists to validate their false self. Something that exists to meet their needs. They cannot see you as a real separate person. Because there's no real person inside of them. They view you as an object. They view you as something they can use to extract their supply. They view you as either a positive or negative extension of themselves. To extract supply from you, they will try to seduce you. They will try to entice you into a different state or position. They will try to lead you away from proper behavior and thinking. They will manipulate you into changing your behavior and perception through indirect, deceptive and underhanded tactics. They will try to exploit you. They will try to make full use of and derive benefit from you. And if you don't see them in the way they want to be seen, they will bully you into submission. They will seek to harm or intimidate you because they expect you to feed them. When you reject the narcissist, it causes a narcissistic injury.
It makes them realise that their false self isn't real. It makes them feel unimportant. It makes them feel unattractive and undesirable. Which is very painful for a narcissist. It is far more painful than it would be for a normal person. Which is why they will do whatever it takes to avoid feeling that way. They abandoned their true self a long time ago because they couldn't deal with those emotions. They wanted to be something great, even if it wasn't who they really are. So they created this false self. They became the arrogant, grandiose character that you see now. This person who has an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. This person who is impressive and imposing in appearance or style. Because they believe that now they're deserving of privileges and special treatment. Now they're deserving of compliments and praise. It gives them a strong sense of entitlement because now they believe that they're superior to most people which they think deserves a certain level of treatment. They think they deserve to be treated better than most people. And this treatment that might seem unjust or unfair to a normal person seems perfectly reasonable to the narcissist because in their minds their false self is perfect. It is everything that you could want. They expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them and they expect a certain level of treatment. Because in their minds, their intelligence or appearance is very valuable. It demands attention. It demands your cooperation. But the truth is it isn't even real. It's a simulation of value. They have studied how intelligent or attractive people think and behave and they have taken on that role. But that's not who they really are. They just decided one day that they were going to be that. They started behaving differently. They started dressing differently. And it can look genuine at first. But if you pay close attention to it, you can tell that they're just playing a role. They're not really the intelligent or attractive person that they have led you to believe. It's all an act. And it is designed to get them what they want. It's designed to get them attention and admiration, compliments and praise. It's designed to get them supply. And they do not even value the essence of it because it's just a false impression. It was built in a house of cards. There's no foundation to it. It has no structure. And that is why it falls apart so easily because they do not possess the intrinsic characteristic attributes of an intelligent or attractive person. They just noticed other people like that who were getting attention. So they just decided one day that's what they're going to be. But that doesn't make it real. It's not deep rooted into their personality. It's not firmly embedded in their thought, behavior or culture. So it doesn't have a persistent influence. They're only committed to it right now because it's working for them. It's getting them supply. It's making people notice them. But as soon as it stops working, they're not going to engage in that behavior anymore.
They will abandon their personality. They will abandon their thought, behavior and culture and everything that goes along with it, which includes you. And they will just move on to something else. They will just move on to whatever they think will get them supply. Because it isn't real. It was never real. It was just a means to an end. It was something they never valued. It was something that was never important to them. It was just useful for them in achieving an aim or objective. It was just something they could use to get supply. And that is why narcissists who depend on their intelligence to get supply will quickly change their values and beliefs if they think that it will get them more attention. If they think that it will make people like them. While narcissists who depend on their appearance to get supply will follow different fashions or trends. It's not because they actually value anything that they're involved in. They will change very quickly if they believe they can get more attention by doing something else. Whatever makes them feel interesting or important. Whatever makes them feel impressive and attractive. Whatever gets people to notice them. Now that you know the true nature of the narcissist, you will never see them the same way ever again. And hopefully you will never treat them the same way ever again. Now that you know that they only exaggerate their abilities and importance, they are not deserving of privileges or special treatment. They're just arrogant and entitled because they think that will get them what they want. But you need to realize that this is nothing more than a simulation of value. It isn't real. They have nothing to offer you. They're not improving your life in any way. They're not paying your bills or putting food on your table. So there's really no reason for you to give them all of your attention. When you're around a narcissist, all they're ever going to do is take something away from you. Whether it's your time and attention, your money or your self-esteem. Because they're like a bottomless void that can never be filled. And they have nothing to give to you. When you give something to a narcissist, you're only strengthening the illusion. You're reinforcing their distorted belief that they are worthy and deserving. When the reality is that it's nothing more than a facade. It's a deceptive outward appearance. which has led you to believe that there's something more to them. When they're actually just a hollow shell. Because it was built on a house of cards. It's not deep rooted into their personality. It's not firmly embedded in their thought, behavior or culture. So it doesn't have a persistent influence. It only has power while you believe in it, while you are willing to entertain the fantasy. But when you begin to notice the cracks in that armor, that is when it quickly fades away. Because they need you to prop up their false self 
They need you to support it. Your belief keeps the illusion alive. They need to reflect back to them that they're the greatest. So that they can feel like that is true. Because to a narcissist, their feelings are the truth. But as soon as you decide to pull away, they're going to come down on you like a ton of bricks. They're going to see it as though you've been hurtful or offensive. They're going to see it as though you've done something wrong. Because it's either that, or they're forced to look at themselves. Which is the last thing that they're ever going to do. Because they already know that as soon as they look at themselves, they're going to realize that they don't even exist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.